Section 1.2, your science lab. So these are the different types of apparatus and functions. To be frank with you, you need to memorize all these um, functions for each and every lab apparatus. And probably you even need to know how to draw. Okay, on your left side, you have the test tube and the boiling tube. So boiling tube usually used for heating purposes and test tube is used to hold certain chemical substances. Bell jar is for setting up a vacuum or separating the apparatus of, a, from, of an experiment from the outside environment. So let's say if you need to separate okay, the atmosphere inside the jar, from the atmosphere outside the jar, we can actually use this bell jar. Glass trough for containing water when collecting gases. Next, we have the gas cylinder for collecting different types of gases. For example, carbon dioxide, oxygen gas, nitrogen gas, and so on. Okay, we, next we have this beaker or conical flask. Uh, they have graduation or they have different um, measurements okay, on the glass itself. So their functions are to contain chemicals or collecting large amounts of liquids. On your right, retort stand and clamp. So this is actually for holding or supporting apparatus during an experiment. For example, if you have a boiling um, process that you need to undergo, or maybe a titration process, or maybe neutralization process of acid and, and, and alkali. So we need to use this retort stand to hold the apparatus for a long period of time. Next, we have this uh, flat bottom flask and round bottom flask. The difference is the shape of the bottom part of the flask. Okay, so for flat bottom flask, you are able to stand on the uh, table itself. And whereas for round bottom flask, you have to hold it okay, while boiling is to be done. Next, you have your tripod stand on your right. Tripod stand is basically for you to place a wire gauze on top of it and also the flat bottom flask for boiling or heating purposes. Okay, So the tripod stand is for supporting apparatus while heating. And next, you have this wire gauze for, dis for even distribution of the heat when heating. You have the measuring cylinder to measure liquids. And you have the filter funnel fitted with filter paper for separating or filtering an insoluble solid from a liquid in a mixture. Okay, next page, we have this burette. So burette is to be hold on the retort stand here. It is used to be hold here on the retort stand for extended period of experiment. Okay, for measuring the volume of a liquid to an accuracy of 0 0.1 cm cube. And you have the crucible, usually it's for heating purpose. Next, we have the pipette for measuring very accurately uh, a specific volume of liquid, evaporating dish for evaporating a liquid from a solution. Next, we have the test tube rack for holding test tubes and boiling tubes in a vertical position. Usually, uh, after the end of our experiment, we can actually put the test tube uh, on this uh, test tube rack for drying or when you are um, running certain experiment and you want, you just want to with, uh, uh, take a look at the test tube, maybe 10 minutes or 15 minutes later on, you can actually put on this test tube right. Next, we have the Bunsen burner used for heating. Test tube holder used for holding a test tube while heating. We have the test duster funnel on your left side for transferring liquids into the flask. And lastly, glass rod for stirring purposes. So all the lab apparatus in our um, science lab, we can use it for measuring volume, containing chemical substances, and holding apparatus, okay? depending on what we want and our objectives of the experiment. So these are the examples on the orange boxes. So we have the burates, pipettes, measuring cylinder, beaker, conical flask, round bottom flask. And lastly, we have the retort stand and clamp, and also the test tube holder. So certain symbols are usually associated with different types of chemicals in the lab. 
First, we have the flammable type. Okay, as the picture shows you, it is it basically shows chemicals which are easily flammable. Okay, they can vaporize easily and burns. For example, our petrol, kerosene, alcohol, etc., etc. So the method of handling will be keep away from the fire and heat source. Otherwise, they may explode or burn. Next, we have the explosive uh, diagram. So the chemicals will explode when heated or mixed with other specific chemicals, for example, hydrogen gas okay, and oxygen gases, butane gas, and also potassium. So the instruction will be follow carefully all the given handling instruction. Keep the substance under the paraffin oil in a closed container and keep away from the fire and the heat sources. Next, we move on to this uh, symbol called irritant because it will irritate our skin, irritate our respiratory canals. Examples will be chloroform, ammonia gas, okay, uh, bromine, phenol, sulfur dioxide, and also chlorine. So chlorine gas are usually um, given out at the swimming pool. So whenever you go to swimming pool, play, uh, pay attention to the um, chlorine gas smell. Next, we have the toxic or poisonous gas, which can cause uh, poisoning and death. Examples will be mercury, cyanide. Corrosive, basically it means that it can actually corrode other materials. It can corrode our benches, it can corrode our metals, okay? wooden uh, materials, and even scales the skin. Examples, typical example would be concentrated acids and alkali. Okay, so whenever you get into contact with um, strong acids or alkali sulfuric acid in the lab, so please remember to wash your hands immediately. Okay, radioactive uh, would mean that uh, it is it can actually emit radioactive rays. Examples would be radioactive carbon, uranium, plutonium, and radium. So please follow the given handling instructions on the sub, uh, substance. Keep the substance in the closed lead container. And lastly, biohazards usually deals with a virus, okay, for example, COVID-19 sample. Okay, so these are the biohazard type of uh, materials, blood samples, urine samples, even phlegm, okay, mucus, all this. Okay. Okay, some of the rules and regulations in the lab, maybe you can uh, read through for this uh, page. 